hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn with our laravel and live wire crud application series okay so guys basically we are going to create a crud for the student where we are going to using bootstrap model okay so we will be using the bootstrap 5 to create the laravel live wire crud application so guys now let's get started so first uh, i have just installed a laravel 9 fresh application here and here is my editor so guys now first step let's set up the database so let's go to .env file and here is my database called laravel 9 and just update that all done now guys let's get back to the laravel live wire at here you can see the installation part so let's click on installation so you move with install the package copy and open your terminal and paste that so hit enter okay it's just a warning guys that it's deprecated versions it's ignoring that and installing a live wire so guys our laravel live wire is installed successfully and now let's set up the auth scaffoldings so we will be using a laravel ui package for that okay composer require laravel forward slash ui hit enter so guys when you install this laravel ui you will be finding uh, layouts and auths inside your view okay once it is installed so okay so it's installed guys now let us php artisan ui colon auth so i'm not going to use any breeze or bootstrap directly i'm going to integrate it okay just auth scaffoldings so once it's integrated it comes over here done now guys we are going to integrate the bootstrap now so let's get back and go to your docs so we will copy the link css and move to your home app and inside app you will find the link okay so just add this cdn link and let's remove this unwanted not required all done and coming to the css i mean script part so here let's get below js copy and paste we don't require this let's remove that all done now let's begin with our live wire done so yep first step let's go to the begin with our migration and the models so php artisan make colon migration create underscore students underscore table okay so we are going to create a students table created migration let's go to database migration and here you find your migration table so now guys in this field we will add just two or three fields where we will tell the name okay and email and one course okay done so four fields is enough guys and now let's migrate this php artisan migrate so it's migrated you can see that students table is migrated done with all the default tables so now guys let's create the model php artisan make colon model model where student model okay hit enter so you find app models where student.php now let's uh, call the table that is students so let's copy the table name students and the fields also so protected dollar fillable is equal to where inside this you are going to tell name then email and course all done so let's save let's close everything so guys let's create a controller php artisan make colon controller where student controller hit enter okay done 
now you can get back to your controller at student controller where let's create one index function return view inside this you are going to a student folder at index blade file okay so for, to call this controller you have to set the route so let's set up the route route colon colon get method where you will call the path and your controller okay so you can just copy from the controller here itself let's copy that namespace path paste here and your student controller let's copy that class name student controller done colon colon class at where index function so which route you're going students students done now let's get back to our student controller at index function so you need to create one folder guys so let's move to resource views and inside this views i'm going to create one folder named student and let's copy this index blade done index dot blade dot php all set so yep guys and now let's begin with uh, extending the layouts so extend which we are going to tell layouts dot app okay and extend the section so here you are going to integrate your live wire okay let's open close and div for this content make sure you have you have your contact section so now guys we are coming to the part of live wire yep let's get back to the live wire and here you see after the installation we have to include the assets so one is your live wire styles let's get back and before the head only okay so after all the link tags and here before the end of the body yep let's get back and this is a script right so after the scripts only we will include it so now guys let's create the crud of live wire okay so php artisan make colon live wire which is student library we are going to create so let's tell student hit enter okay so this is the first time let's create now done and you can see that one is class and one is view okay so now let's go to the class first app http here is your live wire and inside this live wire you find your student.php file so which is already created okay so it has already created a view file so let's go to this view file so if you don't find go to resource views live wire folder inside that live wire you'll find your student blade okay so now guys let me just remove this and say in a h word tag like hello student all done and this it's called over here and now let's get back and if you call your students what it happens you see that a blank page okay why because we have not included the live wire okay so this live wire should be included where in your let me just show you the path it goes to the student controller at index function let's go to there and here you find the student and inside this blade file you have to include your live wire okay so let's open and close tag where inside this live wire colon your student so you just need to specify that live wire colon and then your page name so live wire colon goes to your directly live wire folder inside your resource views and it search for the file so we have got the file and now it's inside the file so yep now you can see your hello student output perfect so here is your data guys so now guys let's uh, create the model and the data part okay so let's begin with creating container row column md12 done and card card header for tag where student crud with bootstrap model okay and here you move with card body where you will fetch your table data okay so table data will just keep here 
before that model we have to pop up the model right so for that case guys you will go to the getbootstrap.com and search for the model so let's search for the model and here you see a demo launch model perfect so let's copy this model copy and paste so where are we going to paste let's create a separate file guys so over here inside the live wire folder only i'll create a student model okay dal okay so now let's get back to our live wire student and here we are going to include that so at include function where live wire at student model done so now that model is included in this yep guys and now let's get back at the model and here is a button so let's copy this button paste here and you can just tell add new student okay and this will be a student model so let's tell student model and then you go to your model page here and update your student model all done now guys you can change this create student save it and now let's check the output yep refresh cool and if you click your model comes perfect so now guys uh, let me just move that to the left float end done yep and now guys let's get back to our model and start creating the form to insert the data so form begin okay so you can keep the form at the top of your model body and end of the footer margin bottom 3 label which will be a student name and then your input field so input dot form hyphen control let's create all our requirements over here first so student email and next is our course done yep guys and now let's make this save button and this button will be submit so here we come with the action so at this action you are not going to use the action we will we will see with wire colon submit dot prevent save student all done and now let's uh, call the model over here so wire colon model so which will send you the data so this is the name and let's copy and paste for the email and for the course so here you add email then coming to course done and now guys when you submit this you are going back to your student model i mean student live component so first step we have to create all the inputs so what is your inputs is nothing but the wire okay so live wire model this name email and course let's create that public dollar first is name then second is email and then your course let's create one function function which will be save student okay so what we have created on that save student on the form submit you are calling that function and then you send your code over here to save the record so before this we need to check the validation so guys for that uh, let's go to a live wire okay so here you see the validation let's click on it so guys we see here uh, there are many type of validation like a real-time validation validating with the rules and here custom error validation 
so let now let us check with the real time validation over here real time validation which tells directly you have to copy this and let's get back and just paste above your save function okay so this is nothing but your fields so this is the f-i-e-l-d-s fields okay so those are input fields so now guys uh, before checking these fields we need to validate right i mean we have to give the rules so for that you have to get back and you can just copy any of the rules let's copy this copy and get back and create paste here done so we are getting the name and it should be minimum of six here is email and we don't require done next one was course so you can add that course and it's required and it's a string okay all set if you require you can add the string for here also all done and now guys once you validate this validate only so what where it will show the errors so for that you have to go to your model and paste under this the error type so how can you paste that let me just show you under the form you can see this the type of code shown over here let's copy this and paste so it's coming under name and then your email and finally one course all set save it and now guys let's check out so here we come and if you directly type anything okay it's just exited the model once we typed so guys now we need to add a wire ignore dot self okay all done let's refresh once and now if we check yep so you can see here guys this email id must be a valid email address okay so it's not looking that good so what we can do is that let's get back and instead of error let's add text danger save refresh so here we come back and directly if we do email it email address so let's give like correct with at gmail.com correct email address so now it's coming fine okay so same process guys we are going to integrate so now yep let's get back to the model and once your validation is done then you are going to take the validated data so let's tell validated is equal to your dollar this of validated function okay so you don't need to worry about what data it is getting it's just getting all your rules data okay so now yep let me show you one thing let's get back now so let's get back guys and here uh, i think this is getting miss so for that you need to get back to your laravel live wire and let's see under any form save okay oops it's validate not validated so let's keep validate and it's validated data okay so anything you can just keep any variable here let's get back and now let's try to refresh and let's submit yep let's click and save here you see name field is required email and course perfect so now guys let's try to save so once you save that you need to create the data so let's call the student model student colon colon where i am going to create where i will take dollar validated data okay so let's take this so we'll copy and paste here once saved now what we have to do once saved we have to empty all these fields and close the model so for that case guys you are going to empty the fields uh, let's create one function called reset input function 
where we will tell reset input and the reset input is going to be like dollar this of name is equal to null okay so same concept goes for your course and for the email too once it is saved you can call this function dollar this of reset input so you are going to empty the input so before resetting this input we need to send the message right so let's use the flash that is session flash so session flash message where i will add a message and the message content like a student added successfully all done and once this is session is showed you have to reset the input and now let's close the bootstrap model so for that guys you need to go to your live wire and let's move at the events here you go to your events and search for the dispatch so dispatch browser event okay let's copy this yep and let's move here we paste we are not going to send any value we are just telling that close model so we'll tell close hyphen model done so when you dispatch this event to your browser add your student add it in your blade file so add this index where you have extended it let's get that add here users script 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 and you need to add in your app layout okay so just paste here after your live wire or before the live wire not an issue so now guys you are coming back to your index and here is a script code so let's copy this code and paste that so once this event comes off close model okay which model uh, the student component right inside your student component get this dispatch browser event in your blade file okay normal blade file and if you require event keep it or else just ignore it and here we are going to close the model we don't require this let's use dollar and model dal it's model and here you tell hide and what is the model id so my model id is let's get to the model here you find student model let's copy that and paste here so my student model comes and now you can test to the part so once it is saved uh, we did not show the message okay so let's get back on the live wire blade and after this i just require the if condition where session function has any data so let's use a message and if we obviously it will have once we add the record and we are going to show in a h5 tag with the class alert alert success with the message as session function where you will tell message okay so this message you are sending from your student component over here all set and make sure you import your class guys import class it's my student model i have imported it okay so now let's get back here we refresh oops uh it's already in use so it's getting clashed over here from my student model to the component of liveware student okay so what we can do is that guys let me rename this file as student um, show okay let's copy this hit enter and you can paste that student show so after this what we have to do we need to 
go below and at this render function we will add a hyphen show and you need to change the live wire component blade okay so let's go to resource views live wire and this is your student blade and instead of student blade you are going to add student show blade okay so let's save and now guys let me refresh perfect so we are getting the output guys and now let me add we are done let's add one student name called with prakash with at gmail.com here we enter the course called bca or mca let's save student and here you okay student added successfully behind you can see the message but the model did not close okay let's check that but uh, let me check the database is the record inserted or not perfect so data is inserted guys and now we need to check the model why it's not insert i mean closing it let's get back let's come back dispatch browser event close model it's dal dal model find and where's the index it's model okay once let's and we need to add one jquery cdn link so make sure you are adding that to run the dollar symbols okay so which means this dollars okay so that's the jquery part so i just messed out jquery cdn link okay let's copy it and paste that in your blade here i don't require this save and now guys let's try to save once again okay so here we say that om prakash and om at gmail.com so bca save perfect so student added successfully and model has been closed okay so why did not close we did not add the jquery cdn link and here i have just messed with up and down so the mess was with only the jquery cdn link why because uh, we were adding this dollar symbol right so this dollar symbol works on the jquery not on uh, without jquery okay so yep guys and in this video that's it we have seen that how to insert the data using bootstrap model and let's see next video how to fetch those data using pagination and search option so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share